Hello and welcome to the Lore Kings. Today we're bringing to you another uh, episode of character design and today's focus will be on companion for your main character. So let's think about companions now. All of our characters usually have stuff brought out of them, either good, bad, evil, um, their mission, and everything else about them comes through the storytelling through other characters and their interactions with. So here's a quick way to think about how to develop companions or what types of companions your main protagonist should have. Uh, the first type is complementary. Does this companion have a complementary skill set, mission, task? What comes to mind when I think of this is superhero du duos. Say like the Green Arrow and Green Lantern come to mind. Two heroes of like mind coming together to complete a task. With really different abilities when you, when you think about what they're trying to accomplish. Uh, same mission, same goals, same attitude. Next is enhancement. Uh, an enhancement companion is what comes to mind is Flash and Kid Flash, right? They both use the speed force. They both have the same ability, the same strengths, the same weaknesses, but together they compile on each other to make it even more powerful. Now you can use this in many different ways, like two magicians, like two Jedi or, or whatever. When people get together of like force, of like talents to excel, that's kind of where I would see the enhancement companion. Third is like the odd couple or the unlikely companion. When I think of this, I think of sometimes as Professor X and Magneto. Why are they unlikely? Well, they both kind of want the same end goal, but they go about it in two different ways. One goes about it through protectionism and another one goes through love and sensitivity. Now those are polar opposites. Though they are friends because they have a like goal and they started off that way, that is still kind of like the odd couple and still kind of out there. You can think of others like Cloak and Dagger or or just other couples, other other groups, other people that come together that aren't supposed to come together. Four, the mentor or the mentee companion. Now, I think of Obi-Wan because he was both. Um, we saw him as uh, the mentee and as the mentor. These are great, especially if you have a really complex lore that you want to get out. You can have it taught to the reader or, or, or the watcher or whoever it is that whatever style you're, do, you're getting this content out in, you can push it through them so it doesn't feel like the narrator's talking or anything of that nature. That's a good way to really knock out your lore and get, and get your lore out there in the open. I love this type of character because it brings out uh, stuff from either or if your companion's a mentee or a mentor brings out stuff about your main protagonist. Five, the non-human or non-like companion. So it'll be something like an animal or a robot or an inanimate object or an alien it's something that's out there right completely different uh, i think of i am legend with his dog i think of wilson uh from castaway i think of all the robots from star wars all these different types of companions that are fantastic companions and it brings something out about the character like in companion uh and sam the dog from i am legend and in wilson they gravitate to these things because they're the only human left they're the only one of their kind left so they gravitate to these other things even their humanity and bring humanity out of the objects. Thanks for coming out. This is Big Doula here at the Lord Kings. Watch, like, comment, subscribe.